Okay, everybody, so what I'm going to be showing you to do today is a very simple, easy, and almost 100% effective way of getting the global objects for any UE4 game. I have never seen this method fail. It is very simple, very easy, it's very quick. It's literally just a little bit, it's a scan. It's much easier than getting the G names or the F name pool. Uh, there is two different methods, though, for depending on the version of UE4 that your game is running on. So it's as simple as this. You're going to want to scan one of these two little uh, signature, I guess you could say, these little array of bytes. And then you just want to add or subtract uh, however many bytes you need. So basically... For games that are older than UE 4.18, you're going to want to scan for this. For games 4. Point, I would say 18 to 19 and up, it can sometimes be different. I recommend trying both. You want to scan this one and subtract what it says here. So I'm going to show you with the game Undefeated, which I used last time. Undefeated is, if I recall, on 4.16, which is lower than 4.18. So what you want to do is you want to select these, and I will have these posted for you. I want to copy this array of bytes, go into Cheat Engine, have the game selected, go select from four bytes to an array of bytes, make sure hex is selected, you just paste this here, you do a scan, and boom. Sometimes you get multiple options, but you want the green address because the green address means it's static, so it won't change. So that's great. So what you want to do now is you want to browse this memory region. Let's select where you were, or I guess you could copy the address from here, that works too. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the calculator, I have it right here, and what you're going to want to do is go click these buttons right here, St uh, switch from standard to programmer calculator, switch from decibel to hex, then you're going to paste the address, uh, hold up, my bad, I forgot if you copy all right, so we're going to grab the address from here. Actually, you know what? It's the offset. Who cares? You want to copy the offset, paste it into hex. Then you want to, since we use this pattern, you want to minus 18. Minus 18. And there you go. You have the offset for G objects. And we can check real quick in reclass EX. can select the game undefeated and since it's an offset we can just add the offset to the base and as you can see if I can confirm this is the correct way that geobjects are supposed to look the third row here is the pointer to the objects and right here yeah all right it, it works it's perfect and for games newer as I said you would do the same exact thing but instead you would search for this pattern and then you would minus off 18 in the calculator for your offset uh, rather than, I mean, you would minus 28 off rather than 18 in the calculator when you're subtracting your offset. And it's as simple as that. It almost never fails. If it does, there's more complex ways to get it, but this is a simple way to find it.